Hey guys, VFX Bro here with a tutorial on the VFX intro shot on Lil Mama's music video titled Doughboy. Um, the first part of the shot you can see here, we're going to go ahead and just play this through here. We have a nice speed ramping effect here where it kind of starts off slow and then speeds up and then stops right here in slow motion. So that effect um, was actually shown in a previous tutorial um, where we did show some speed ramping, but the effect we're gonna show right now is where it kind of stops and just zooms right past them right there. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, we have here the shot where it zooms past them. We're gonna start it off right here. Um, so we've made a new composition, brought in our footage. We're going to start off right here by moving our timeline and um, what we want to do is choose a point at which the camera zooms forward past the dancers here so I'd say right about th right about here is a good point so we're gonna stop it right there and we are going to duplicate this footage but not before having first freeze framed the shot. So we're going to go t right click on the footage, go time freeze frame. So we have the shot frozen right here. Now we're going to click on it, hit command C and then command V. So we've duplicated the shot. Um, now what we're going to do is go layer new camera and we're going to put our preset to 35 millimeter. So we have that put in there. Now we're going to make both of our shots into 3D objects. So now we have these two layers right here. Um, what we're going to do first is start off with our back layer footage. So what we're going to do here is take a look at this wall and kind of estimate how far back in 3D space that wall would be. So if we go to our two view here, we can see this bottom layer here. And we're just going to call that background and we're going to call this first dancer we're going to take our background footage and go ahead and move it back on the Z space right about there and now if we just solo that out we can see that it's been made um, a little small so we're going to go back to our single view here and scale it up so that it fits the scene at 100% of the view. Right about there, looks good. Okay, so now we have our background here and our first dancer. In order to make our background, we're going to double click on it and we're gonna be using the clone tool here um, in order to remove the dancers from the shot so that we can zoom past them. So we're gonna click on the clone stamp here and uh, we're going to go to probably about 65 and let's go ahead and duplicate the wall so that it um, so that uh, when we move past them in 3d space it appears as though we are moving in 3d space so if we just do this real nice there we can kind of get rid of her um, we want to be consistent with the shadowing so Let's just kind of knock this out here real quick. Not too much detail is required in this cloning process simply because the move is so quick and there's going to be motion blur placed on the shot. But we're going to do kind of a best job as we can with the time we've got here. Let's copy this shadow down nice here. All right, so here we have cloned the dancers out of the scene and left Michonne there in the back. Now we have our background plate done and we can go back to our composition. And you can see here that we have this in the background and we still have the dancers on top. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mask out each of the dancers. We're gonna do that by hitting the H button here and let's go ahead and start on the left 
um, but not before we actually first select our first dancer. We're going to hit Command C and Command V. We're going to paste that five times for the five dancers that we have. So we're going to start on the top here and go ahead and mask around that. All right, so after having masked out our first dancer, we're going to go on to the next one. We're going to unsolo this top layer, and it's going to bring up all of our dancers here. We're going to go on to the next one here, so let's solo our second dancer here. And let's get started. Okay, so now we have all of the dancers masked out here. Um, let's go ahead and select all of them so we can just take a look. We, you can see we have five different layers. Now what we are going to do is kind of free up some more space here so we can bring up our double view. You can see right now they're all on the same z-axis. So we're gonna what we're going to do here is start with our first dancer that we masked out here and we can see that in Z space she looks like she's almost near the front if not even with these two here um, so what we can do actually is pretty much leave her in the same spot maybe bring her forward just a tad bit here and then we're gonna go to our second dancer who we can definitely see is significantly farther back than the rest. So what we're going to do is bring her back to that spot and then we are going to enlarge her layer so that she is back to the size of the original shot here. We can see that this is about right here. Her foot cuts off right about there. Very nice. Let's go ahead and move on to our third dancer who is just about even with the first three. So we can leave her there. We'll move on here to the next dancer who's also slightly ahead of the rest. So we're gonna move her forward just a tad bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and scale her, her down And let's go back to this one actually and scale her down a little bit as well. There we go. And lastly, our fifth dancer. And she is also a little bit farther back than the rest. So we're going to move her back a little bit here in Z space. And then also bring her up in size so that she still matches the original frame we can see here that it's still a little bit too small so let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit right about there okay in order to kind of check our work what we're gonna do is bring as we're gonna copy the top layer by hitting command C and then command V pasting it and then we're gonna go into our mask here and delete the mask so this is our original shot here Let's go ahead and go back to our first view. And we can see that some of our shots are a little bit off. Um, so what we're going to do actually is go to our opacity by hitting T and bring down the opacity just a tad bit down to 50 so we can see where we've made the majority of our mistakes. So we're going to go to that dancer here and it looks like we just need to bring her up a little bit here. We're going to make her just a little bit bigger so that she matches up. Um, not quite, just a little bit more here. And that looks pretty good right there. So we're going to go back to our top layer here and delete that. 
Now what should happen is as we move our camera back and forth, um, it will look as though we are moving past them. So go ahead and hit C um, a couple times depending on what your current settings are, but hit C until you have the scrub right here, or you can just select it right here by hitting the Track Z camera tool, and let's see if it works. So yeah, now as we move forward, you can see it appears as though we are moving past the girls because the parallax of the changing in background is being adjusted as we move forward. So let's go ahead and go back to our original position. What we do want to have happen is have the background move a little bit more um, relative to our dancers than we have right now. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our two view and move it back even further. Right about there looks good. And then go ahead and zoom it up. Make sure that you're holding shift while you're doing this so that our footage stays at the same aspect ratio. Here, let's go back to our one view. And we are going to start our zoom right here. So what we do first here is set a keyframe for the current camera position. So we're going to go to transform position, make a keyframe right here. And we want the zoom to be maybe half a second to a second in total length. So let's move forward here. Um, let's try it right about there. And we're going to t hit the C button, move forward past the girls and we can see that the, that the framing is kind of low so we're gonna hit C two three more times and then move it up here so that it is zooming past their heads and not right down at their waists um, right about there so let's kind of scrub through this here and that looks a lot better and one thing that we're going to add to really top off our effect is a motion blur to every layer. So go ahead and select them all and highlight the motion blur and then we're going to enable it up here as well. But there we go. There is the effect. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. This has been VFX Bro with a tutorial in After Effects on the visual effects scene in the official music video for Lil Mama Doughboy.